case of inflection, if the graph of a continuous function has a tangent line at the point, possibly a vertical line, and the graph changes concavity at that point, then the point is called a point of inflection. Hypercritical value of the x are those values that x equals c in a domain where f double prime of c equals zero or f double prime of c doesn't exist. To determine points of inflection, we use the short term, the POI. First, we find the second derivative, and then determine the hypercritical value by finding the x when f double prime equals zero or f double prime undefined, and then use the hypercritical value as endpoints of the interval. Determine the interval where the second derivative greater than zero, the function will be concave upward. If the second derivative is less than zero, the function f will be concave downward. The point of inflection occurs at those hypercritical value where f changing the size of the second derivative or changing from concave up to concave down or concave down to concave up. For the graphical way, to determine it, you can pretend that you <clears throat> you have the tangent line along the curve, and then as long as the curve is above the tangent line, the graph can keep up. If the graph below the tangent line, the graph can keep down. We're going to use the graph of y equals f of x to find the intervals on which the function is can keep upward, can keep downward. As you see the graph, pretend like the tangent line move along the curve on the left side here from negative infinity to a the graph is below the tangent line therefore this portion is going to be concave downward negative infinity a. the next part between a and b the tangent line is below the curve this part is concave upward Next one from B to C, draw the tangent line along the curve for the entire interval. The graph is above the tangent line, going to be concave upward. And then from C to D, the tangent line is above the graph. Therefore, between C and D, the graph is concave downward next part between d and e the tangent line is below the curve and it gets upward and beyond d beyond e the graph is below the tangent line it's concave downward 